children. Your teacher today is Senyunga Duncan. Our talk today is Ethnicity Groups and Settlement Patterns in East Africa. Let me first talk about the definition of ethnic groups. An ethnic group is a large group of people who share a common origin and speak related languages. An ethnic group group of people 
who speak common languages with a keyword into referring to human beings. Let me repeat, Bantu is a large group of people who speak common languages with a root word into referring to human beings. This ethnic group is the largest in East Africa. It is believed that the Bantu entered East Africa in 1000 AD. The Bantu entered East Africa in 1000 AD. It is the largest ethnic group in East Africa. The main economic activity carried out by this ethnic group is farming. Farming is the major activity carried out by the Bantu ethnic group. In East Africa, we have tribes that fall under the Bantu ethnic group. Let us look at the tribes. Remember, East Africa is made up of different countries. We have countries tribes under the one ethnic group. We have Uganda, we have Tanzania, we have Kenya, We have Rwanda, we also have Burundi, Table, we are going to have tribes under the Bantu ethnic group in East Africa. We have Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, and the Burundi. We are going to write some tribes under the Bantu ethnic groups in Uganda, those in Tanzania, those in Kenya, and also the tribe under the Bantu in Rwanda and also Burundi. In Uganda, we have the Baganda.
Baganda fall under the Manfisi group. We have the Banyoro. We have the Batoro. We have the Basoga. We have the Banyankole. We have the Bakonzo. We have the Afumbira. And many others. These tribes in Uganda fall under the Bantu tribal group or ethnic group. In Tanzania, we have the Nyamwezi. We have the Chaga. We have the Yao. We have the Efe. We have the Moni. We have the Sukuma. In Kenya, the following tribes fall under the Bambisini group. We have the Kikui. Kikui. We have the Gusi. We have the Meru. We have the Kamba. We have the Taita. We have the Luya. We have the Mere. Others. In Rwanda, we have the Hutu. Only, also we have the Hutu in Burundi. The Hutu are in Rwanda and in Burundi. They fall under the Van Ifiniki group. Let's look at the reasons for the Bantu migration. for the Bantu migration. We've seen that the Bantu migrated from their homeland of Cameroon Highlands. Cameroon Highlands. In 1000 AD. And the other reasons why they migrated from Cameroon Highlands into East Africa in 1000 AD. First reason, search for fertile soils for Crop Since the Bantu were farmers, 
since the land were farmers, they wanted fertile soils to grow their crops. That's why they migrated from Cameroon Highlands into East Africa, because they wanted more land, more fertile land to carry out their agriculture. Another reason was, was feeling out bread. in their cradle land, cradle land or homeland. It is believed that the one to have the famine in their original homeland and their population had grown greatly. So they wanted another area where where they could carry out their farming to run away from the family. Also, they had an outbreak of epidemic diseases in their own land. Outbreak of epidemic diseases. homeland or cradle land this band in their homeland were attacked by epidemic diseases epidemic diseases that's why some families had to run away from Cameroon Highlands into East Africa in order to escape from such epidemics. Then they could have had also internal and external conflicts. Internal and external conflicts. It is believed that the Bantu had internal conflicts within their families. So, weak families had their way out of Cameroon Highlands. At the same time, it is believed that the Bantu were frequently attacked by their neighbors. That's why they had to run away from Cameroon Highlands into East Africa. Another reason was shortage of land due to population increase. Shortage of land due to population increase it, it was it was believed that this bantu had increased in population and they wanted a large land to settle their families that's why they had to come East Africa in order to create a wider space for their families. These are some of the reasons for the Bantu migration. Let's look what is the effects of their migration, all the consequences, all the impacts, all the results are divided into two groups. We have the positive effects. Positive effects means good effects. These are good effects. And one of them is the Bantu migration led to introduction of new languages. Number two, the Bantu migration
lead to formation of centralized system of administration. Another positive effect was the mantle migration led to formation of centralized system of administration. What do I mean by this? It, it means that the mantle migration led to formation of kingdoms in East Africa. The kingdoms are part of the centralized system of administration because these kingdoms they have, have kings, whereby the kings the kings have subjects below them. Another positive effect was the Bantu migration led to introduction of new crops new crops such as bananas another effect was the Bantu migration led to introduction of new farming systems. Because we have seen that the band were farmers and they wanted more land to carry out their agriculture. Therefore, they migrated into East Africa to search for more land such that they could carry out their farm. And, and when they migrated into East Africa, they introduced new farming system. And it is under the positive effects, the good effects. However, the Bantu had also negative effects. Let us call this part, part B, the negative effects. Negative or bad effects. Negative or bad effects. But the negative effects were the Bantu migration to migration led to population increase in areas where they settled after their migration in the places where they settled 
population increased or population grew up, which was bad for the original inhabitants of East Africa. Because the original inhabitants were sent away and they migrated to different places. The original inhabitants were the sun or the bushmen. After the sun had seen that the population had grown, then, then they had to move to other places and the band to occupy such areas. Another negative effect was since the band were farmers and they wanted more land to carry out their farming, they cleared the forested areas where they settled, which was bad. They affected the environment of East Africa. The Bantu We saw that, saw that the band migrated because they wanted more land to carry out their farm and more land for settlement. In their arrival, they cleared all the forested areas in those places where they settled in order to carry out their agriculture or their farm, which was negative. How? This clearing of the forested areas affected the natural environment in East Africa. These are the, the negative results of the Bantu migration. What the effects of the Bantu migration? And we said that the effects are called outcomes, consequences, impacts or results. All these words mean effects. What happened after their migration? In other words, those are the consequences. And these results are divided into two groups. We have the positive effects or good effects. You can call them good effects. Also we have the negative effects. Let me start with the first one. We've seen that the Bantu migration led to introduction of new languages. Under the Bantu, we have, we have different tribes. We have the Baganda. Baganda, Baganda speak Luganda or use Luganda. Banyoro use Runyoro. Basoga use Lusoga. So all these languages were introduced into East Africa, which was positive. How is it positive? These languages promote communication in East Africa. Another positive result was the band migration led to formation of centralized system of administration. What do I mean by that? Centralized system of administration means kingdoms. Kingdoms were formed in East Africa with the king with the highest authority. The highest authority over the subjects. These kingdoms were introduced alongside with kings and these kings have the highest authority in their kingdoms. 
We have also the bad migration led to introduction of new crops. New crops were introduced, such as bananas. Bananas were introduced in East Africa by the Bantu. Also, the Bantu led to introduction of new farming system, such as crop rotation. In the Cameroon Highlands, the Bantu were practicing that. Because they needed more fertile land to carry out their farming, when they reached East Africa, they introduced also crop rotation, which is also which is scientific today. This system of administration was introduced by the Bantu. Lastly, we have the negatives. The negatives are the bad effects, and we are saying they led to population increase. Whereby the origin inhabitants in East Africa were sent away. They had to run away because they had seen that the population had grown in East Africa. Another thing was, since they were farmers, they affected the natural environment by clearing the forested areas of East Africa. Let me show you. The, let us have the map to show the areas where they used to enter East Africa. Routes used by the Bantu to enter East Africa. Some Bantu use this direction to enter East Africa this direction to enter East Africa. Others used this direction to enter East Africa. Others used this direction to enter East Africa. Others use this direction to enter East Africa. Others use this direction. And others use this direction to enter East Africa. Let's have an activity.
Let's have this activity. The first, the first one, what is an affinity group? What is an affinity group? Number two, write down the major ethnic groups of East Africa. Number three, who are Bantu? Number four, how are the Hutu related to the Kikuyu ethnically? Number five, give any four tribes in Tanzania under the Bantu tribal group. Remember we said an ethnic group is a tribal group. In other words, mean ethnic, ethnic is a tribal. Number six, state two ways in which the migration of the Bantu to East Africa was advantageous. Nine. Number six, state any two ways in which the migration of the Bantu to East Africa was advantageous. Here, you are going to talk about any positive effects of the Bantu. Any two positive effects of the Bantu. That's the end of our lesson.